We had a prayer vigil this morning at St. Michael's Ukrainian Catholic Church. We all have relatives in Ukraine, in, in many different parts of the country, who are currently under fire from many different sides. The people in Ukraine are innocent, and um, they didn't do anything to deserve this. I just feel bad for them. The misinformation coming out of Russia is absolutely incredible. There's people saying things about there's neo-Nazis in Ukraine. Ukrainian president is Jewish. 70% of people in the country voted for him. America has not had a Jewish president before. So the, the fact that this is such an important democracy and it's such a beautiful, wonderful place that is democracy, we're seeing uh, people like Vladimir Putin trying to crush that. We're doing an auto rally. It's a peaceful protest. We're going to the Russian mission in the Bronx in Riverdale. Please support us. We need everyone's support. This is not just a Ukrainian thing. This has become a global thing. We're in Riverdale in the Bronx, which um, happens to be home to this Russian compound, probably one of the largest Russian compounds in the country. Nobody here like you know likes what Russia's doing. And we're at this location today because behind me is the Russian residence. I remember being here with Rabbi Weiss and a, a lot of other people from our community protesting at the time the Soviet uh, suppression of Soviet Jewry. That this street was co-named Sharansky Square in honor of the great Russian dissident. The symbolic importance of being here, part of what is the Russian government after all, I think sends a very loud message. The world is going through a very dark period where autocrats in many, many countries have taken over. What's happening in Ukraine to me is reminiscent of what happened in Europe in the late 30s when Hitler went into other countries and started one by one gobbling them up. Putin is going to have to be hurt for what he's doing. And if he's successful in Ukraine, and Ukraine's you know, 40 million people, it's not a tiny country, what's going to stop him from going into Moldova, which is right next door, and then other countries, and perhaps even NATO countries, such as Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Poland maybe. He's a tyrant, he's a dictator, and frankly, I'm beginning to think he's a madman. seeing another example of the community coming together to show our resilience and support of the Ukrainian community. You know, New York is home to America's largest Ukrainian community and there's tons here in Riverdale and also in Yonkers. And then here we have a you know, literally a convoy of so many cars and so many people. It just came and it was, you know, kind of tear jerking. It was really amazing. I'm very proud to be Ukrainian. Putin have to leave our country. He has to take his hands off our country. My family, we're all family. And we are here for each other. Nobody should come in their country and just take country like that with tanks. You know, this is this is very wrong. Mama! <laughs> I'm Ukrainian American. I came here when I was four years old. And it's very tragic what's happening in her home country. I would like to see the war stop immediately to protect our family and our homes. Because they said, you know what? The same thing that happened over there, it could happen in any other country. He's a dictator. And these people doesn't deserve what he's doing to them. Look how many people died. I wouldn't want someone to go to my country and take it over like that and killing all those people and throw them out of their country. Not at all. Yeah, because people understand that Ukrainians fighting about their land. Not about, we didn't attack nobody. They come on our land. That's it. I think it's so innately wrong what Putin is doing. There's nothing good about it. It's insane. You see the airstrikes, the missiles, the bombings. But I think that people are coming together and that's what we need right now. They're fighting for their country to the core. I'm the son of Albanian immigrants, so this kind of strikes home from the Kosovo War in the late 90s because of power hungriness and the egotistical maniac. You know, it's sad, you know, these are so many people, their whole lives are changing in the blink of an eye. I have a mother and father there, all my family there, and uh, I'm praying for you, I'm thinking about you, and I'm with you. Remember that. I promise you, I'll do everything possible for my country and for my people 
to be safe. I'm actually originally from Ukraine. We actually have a lot of families still over there. At first, my relatives were trying to get to safety, but then they turned back, even like my aunt and everyone turned back and trying to do what they can by providing food, by building up barricades, whatever they got to do. Yeah, it's a sense of unity. I think that everyone knows that the, the power in numbers and everyone feels so strongly about it. No one wants to sit back and watch what's happening. They want to protect their country, fight for the freedom that they deserve. This is just can show you how strong our men are and women too because I know a lot of women they are taking guns in their hands and they're protecting country. Not every president can stay in their country, take a gun and fight for their own country. Uh, I'm very proud of them and thank you very much Zelensky. He's with his people, he's not just a boss telling people what to do, he's a leader, he's leading by example. And thank you very much brothers Klitschko. Klitschko is the, the mayor of Kiev. Him and his brother are both taking up arms to defend the city. Seeing that brings even more people together. They recognize that these people love their country and they're going to do whatever it takes to protect it. We are all united, no matter where we are, either we are in the Bronx or Manhattan or Yonkers or anywhere. We are asking now to help us close the sky because we are receiving numerous amount of rockets. This is not just about safety of our country, it is safety of our entire world because right now entire world is threatened by Mr. Putin. And I think entire world have to stand up. Every country has to stand up. Not just for us, but for themselves too. Because if he can invade Ukraine so recklessly, uh, he can do even more. The headline was, officials suspect Russia used UN facilities to impact the 2016 election. This was in Newsweek, Chris Riotta, September 10th, 2017. I played Little League on this field. So to see this, we're standing between the American game of baseball, right? And then this, and uh, I'm gonna go home and watch Red Dawn and hope for the best. And I've lived here for most of my life and I've never seen anything like this, despite you know, the, uh, the often tenuous relations, right? Between uh, Russia and the United States, Russian Federation, USSR and so on. I hope they're all concerned with the plight of everyone in, U in the Ukraine, whether they were born there and have been there for centuries, or if they were students from, from Africa and, and, and other places. To be honest, I feel bad for the Russian people as well, because they've been manipulated and lied to, and some of them don't even know what they're walking into. Obviously, there's so much hate and evil in the world, but there's so much love also. And I think hearing and seeing the support from everyone all over the world.